everything is prepared. And today's daily dose is before you, if, if your child hits their head, all right? This is kind of a concussion protocol. But if your child hits their head and they're very prone to hitting heads, I have four kids, you guys, they hit their heads or they'll collide. I mean, I had one time my daughter was coming around. There's a wall here. She's coming around this way. My other son's running in to find out what she's doing. Right at the same time, they hit each other. We actually have it on video. We weren't trying to video them colliding, but it just so happened that we were videoing her. She was going to get something. They collided. They, he hit his head. She accidentally pushed him down. She's a lot older, like four years older, three years older. He went down and hit his head. So what are you gonna do? It was right before bedtime, all right? Or even nap time. You must check their pupils, all right? So with today's flashlights, I don't recommend shining the LED lights in their eyes. What I normally do is I'll try to find a bright area or find one of those old flashlights or they can actually look up in the middle of the light. So I'll actually have, I'll cover their eyes so it's kind of, I'll create darkness and then I'll have them look up into the light. What I'm looking for is constriction of the pupil, the black part. So when you look up at a light, your pupils will actually constrict. If they do not constrict and if they stay dilated, then you should actually monitor them and watch them. Even if it's nighttime, you need to monitor them, watch them, or Consider calling your pediatrician and finding out, hey, is this safe? I saw this YouTube video and this doctor said I shouldn't let my kid go to sleep if they've hit their head and their pupils are staying dilated, all right? And the reason why we, they stay dilated and then they go to sleep, there is a caution that if they go to sleep, they won't wake up, all right, when they've hit their head that hard. It depends on how hard they've hit. So it's a simple, very simple, all right? All you do is check for just pupil dilation or pupil constriction, and you just watch for those either if they stay fixed, that can be a trouble if they just hit their head. All you're looking for is them to constrict when they go into the light. Simple enough. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Thanks so much.